this week on Sail Away. Oh my God. What do you do on a week when your dinghy threatens to break free of the boat and outrun you? You start losing gear overboard under sail. Guess I better slow down for it, huh? It's always something, right? What's the after the other? A new hobby continues to kick your butt. Your water maker decides to spew its contents onto your cabin floor, and cruise ships wreak so much havoc on your anchorage. So what should we do? Just tool around until they stop thrusting? That they unearth a sunken wreck. The top of a boat, like, it's like the crew popped it up. Really? And then like that molding tank or whatever it is. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Well, you buy some new toys. A wing V2. That's it. <laughs> you share some amazing times with your sailing clan, then sit back and wait for the next incredible thing to happen. So meet me on that island. Kiss me on that show. Promise me Bit of a ride here. We left Vegas because the wind was so gusty and swirly. It was just throwing us all over the place. We decided to just uh, come down west across the north part of the island and uh, circle around and go back to Brewers. But we got sort of a northeast wind here. What? Northeast, but a little bit north. But it's a little wild out here. We had a fight about how many rats we put on a winch or something. And we have seen some pretty big waves. We've almost gotten rounded up. I guess we, we did get rounded up by a 27 knot test. But we're going downwind. 20 steady, just a 24, 25. And uh, all that's so, so a lot of work though. I think this next drive, when we get pointed the other direction, will be a little. Less work. It was a relatively short stretch that we knew we'd be exposed to the northern swells, but it was far more exciting than expected. But, uh, Mango might get airborne. We'll see. We're not to do it for too long. We just gotta get around the corner of the island and it'll all fall down. For longer passages, we always haul mango up high on the stern arch. But today we got caught unaware in harbor hopping mode, towing in behind the boat. We're almost around the corner. Hopefully, hopefully it calms down. Oh my god. It was mostly just amusing, unless he got rolled by a breaking wave. That would not be amusing. This is not the ideal uh, way to tow your dinghy. Oh my god. Paddleboard, paddle overboard. Right when we were taking the sails down, it happened. So I'm trying to go really slow and not run into land while she retrieves the paddle. Oh, it looks like maybe she got it. Guess I better slow down for it, huh? Success! Uh, Catch ya. It's always something, right? One thing after the other. <sighs> we made it back. No more mishaps. Thank goodness. Now we're stuck. And hopefully we won't get the crazy guests that we were getting and 
It'll just be hunky dory. Probably stay here for two days, we're thinking. And then head back over to Charlotte and start getting ready for our passage. You know what time it is? Yeah. Time to turn off the motor. <laughs> Sorry, I'll get it out of the way. Now, now we got airplanes. <laughs> Yikes! For now. Maybe not yet. I'll wait not, on a little bit. Not, not now. How about now? Okay, now. What time is it? Passage drink time. Go do it. Felt like a hell of a passage. We we uh, we knew it was going to be, you know, it was going to be kind of windy, and we were going to have a little bit of waves until we got around the end of the island. But it was it was a lot, a lot of waves. But we were talking about it, and I feel like this is like our training days. You know, a lot of people don't even bother coming out unless it's calm when they're sailing around the islands because it's maybe not pleasant. But we try not to shy away from most days if we're just doing little hops. And then sometimes you get days like today. I like to think we'll be ready for these kind of days when they pop up and you can't do anything about it when you're on a passage. And I think that has been the case. Lauren wants to work out, and I want to get the wing foil out, but we also both want to drink first after that sale. So we're going to get boozed up and then, and then get athletic. What's today, Thursday? Friday. Today's Friday. Pretty sure. Let's just always lose track. Cheers. Cheers! To a kind of rough passage. Let's see what did well. Cheers, Cecilia. We'll pour some rum on her later, probably by accident. But she, she absorbs it. We have a little bit of an unboxing for you guys. And yes, this is a situation of a carpenter blaming his tools because I have a new wing. So this is a slingshot sling wing 6.4 and the reason I've gotten this one uh, this was a store demo model uh, that they just had open in the store so I got it for a good bit cheaper than normal price thank god I've recently had the wing back out after replacing the bladder in the strut and I eventually <laughs> did pretty good I had a rough go of it I kind of forgot everything I'd learned Mostly because that busted bladder kind of set us back. Couldn't just go grab one at the corner store. So I kind of got to investigating a little more for, for my weight and the board we have and the conditions we are generally in. Really think my wing is just a little small for my size for what we want to do the winging in here. Unless it's blowing almost 20 knots, it's really, really tough for me to get the foil up out of the water. I want to be able to, to, to foil in conditions that are a lot less than that kind of wind. This one is a 6.4. Hopefully this will get me up on the wing easier and in lighter wind, meaning I'll be able to use it a whole lot more instead of waiting around for not only the right kind of anchorage where I've got room, but also like 15 to 25 knots. So now hopefully we'll be talking more like the 10, 11 knot to 20 knot range will be kind of my ideal window. So let's take a look at it and see if it's as cool as I think it's going to be. Slow wing V2, that is it. Ooh, they got it packed back in plastic and everything. Huh. Well, they either re vacuumed it or they just gave me a new one. Okay, cool. Just like that. All right. Yes, it's a poor carpenter who blames his tools. But also, you gotta have the right tools for the job. So, pick your analogy. <laughs> well, that seems, I don't know. Uh, seems like it's uh, better. How do you like your new wing? Uh, 
piss off, so it's taking me a minute to figure out hand holds and transfer and all that because the other one's got those big long handles, which is pretty nice. That's the only thing I like better about the other one, I'd say. But this one, man, it, it really pops me up if there's just a little gust. As long as I'm doing things right, it, it comes up. I jived. Did you see that? No. On the foil. I only managed to do it once, but that's what it starts with, right? Huh. Are you trying to play with fire? Yeah. Why? Going to a camp out with my friends. Camp out? But that, well, people call it camp out. Mm, okay, what are we going to do at your camp out? Um, roast marshmallows. Okay, well, let's go roast Let's some. go! <laughs> let's go roast some hot dogs. Our most recent boat buddies slash sailing clan are Jason, Jackson, and Caden aboard Liahona. It's high time to tell you, I feel you like a... There's nothing quite like a beach fire to fuel a fun evening, and it had been a long time since we'd had one. Some weeks there seems just to be a lot of little things that make everything you do seem harder than it should be. Nothing major, but you're just kind of always on your toes. A beautiful evening with good friends like this is the perfect thing to balance that out. And you do need to always seek that balance, because the little things are going to keep coming. Never dark without the dawn. And you know that next little thing has arrived when water starts gushing out of your water maker. What was that? Okay. Is it just full? I don't think so. I mean, even if it was, it wouldn't be that. It just started. I thought you were washing something off, and then I realized that you weren't. So. Uh, just got a busted, uh, busted clamp here. Let's see. The fresh water input right here. Mm -hmm. Those clamp just came off. Uh, yeah, just busted. Yeah. Out of nowhere. And so. So it was just yeah, as long as there, when there's no pressure to stop, that's how the <coughs> freshwater pumps on all the boats work. As soon as they don't feel pressure, it kicks on. So as soon as you like open a valve, it psh, so it's just like turning on a faucet, and it just was spewing fresh water everywhere. Well, at least it's a fairly easy fix. <laughs> we just got to yeah. clamp. Yeah, uh, that's a good way to like run water dry though. If we were ever like leave this on when we leave, which I know a lot of people are afraid to do it, and that's one of the reasons why. Makes sense. Cool. I got an early morning dolphin party at the boat. Eric and uh, Eric and Rivers are gonna swim out and see if they can find them. We got an unexpected message from Liahona that dolphins were between our boats. So, with Rivers still kind of half asleep, we both jumped in. Oh, he's right there next to you! <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> We'd heard rumors that a family of dolphins sometimes shows up in this anchorage. That rumor turned out to be true. Hey, that's pretty cool. I'm going to see if I can get in while they're still there. Take a hit, take a This is most definitely one of our coolest experiences so far. He seemed just as happy to see us as we were to see him. Interacting with an intelligent creature like this is a vivid reminder that this is not just our planet, something we humans tend to forget. The only downside is it went by way too fast. So cool. Yeah. Swam over this way like he was coming to get you. Yeah. It was. It was really funny. Like we were sitting there like talking. Like, I yelled at you. Yeah. And then he just like took off and swam straight over here. Yeah. I was still getting ready. <laughs> Man, gosh, she was just like right in our face, you know, looking at us, rubbing on us, like letting us pet him. That's crazy. Cool. Alright, let's climb out. Come on, I'm hungry. Yep. Folks, those are socks. That was his choice this morning. He said, I want to wear socks. In his defense, he got a little cold because we had a early morning swim with Dolphin. I almost said dolphins. Early morning swim with dolphin, which was awesome. Now we have left Brewers Bay because we are at the one week countdown to getting out of here. Like, like way out of here. Not just like we're gonna go around the island and then like come back or just maybe go to in the very next island place and then like come back here as maybe you've gotten used to. We are headed to Martinique. Martinique, yes. Wee wee wee. Wee wee baguette. Olé olé. Panel raisin. It's all about food. That's our plan. We've we've kind of lingered here in the USVI longer than planned, which always happens. But we got good stuff done, and obviously we went to the BVI, which was fantastic. And so now, yeah, we're looking at a weather window next week that we think we can make a straight shot all the way down to Martinique. And the reason we're kind of giddy up and go and skipping over some islands is, obviously we've already been to St. Martin, which we loved, but we don't really have a need to go there. Uh, we've seen Antigua. We really want to see Guadeloupe, but we know we're going to be probably coming back up, coming back over to this area, so. Instead of trying to rush through a whole bunch of islands until hurricane season comes, we know we're going to want to spend a lot of time in Martinique. That's some place we've been wanting to go forever. And then we're figuring out the next plan. Martinique and then St. Lucia and then Grenada. Yeah. And hurricane.
Spaghetti House. I don't think there's any way we should have been gotten that this close. close. I'm not gonna sink, we just dragged Binker. Do you want me to pull it up? Just wait until the thrusting stops. Yeah. Always. A derelict boat's gonna hit the beyond boat. So this one's backwards. Well, this is something we've shown you before, but this time it lasted way longer than we'd seen before. The cruise ships come in, side thrust against the dock, and then just don't stop thrusting after they're already tied up. Okay. Yep. Do you want me to pull it up? Okay. It blows the boats around so crazily that we were in danger of hitting a boat behind us. until they stop thrusting. Okay. Strong wind in addition to that is just like a mess. Yeah. Did that boat wind up hitting that other boat? That was, was really it was really close. I like that spot, so like... <laughs> I don't know if we drove for real. I don't know if we drove for real. I'm just saying we should, I think we should go back to it once these yeah. boats get out. Okay. These guys look like they might be in trouble. After some conversations with our neighbors and looking around a bit, we don't really think we drug at all. It was just a really long mooring that little power boat was on. And we weren't the only ones getting uncomfortably close to our neighbors. For real, if you work for Norwegian, this shit is stupid. <laughs> Don't. This is like, this is a problem. Your bow lines are hooked up. You're, yeah, you're all set. There is no reason for you to be bow thrusting into the harbor and screwing everybody else up. I wonder how many, like, thousands of dollars of damage is caused because these cruise ships don't, like, stop bow thrusting. No, there's no reason for it to be this long. Ultimately, it was about an hour and a half until they stopped thrusting and the harbor settled down enough for us to re-anchor in our old spot. Not okay. And not before an old wreck was unearthed from the bottom. It was not there when we went around before. <laughs> Everybody's all around altitude adjustment. Like, look at all this stuff around Euphoria. Oh. What is this floating in the water? I'm so confused. Or an old wreck down there or something that just got unearthed. Right? It's, you little pop up. Is that what that is? Is that what that is? Yeah, it was like, it was like the, the top of a boat, like, like the current popped it up. Really? And then like that holding tank or whatever it is. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Crazy. Yeah, uh, I think that was unnecessary thrusting. Yeah. Unnecessary so roughness. Thrusting that you dig up a shipwreck. Yeah. Very, very, very bizarre. Back where you belong. Does that deserve a passage drink? <laughs> yeah, I think it does. <laughs> <laughs>